All right. We have breaking news that just dropped on the crypto market. As of this morning, December 31st, the last possible day of this year, the Intercontinental Exchange issued a press release. In this press release, they officially announced that backed as well as their physically settled Bitcoin futures has been postponed indefinitely. Today, I want to discuss why this happened, how this has affected the crypto market, and what this means for you as a Bitcoin investor. All this and more here at Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for a video on crypto every day. My name's Austin, and this channel will always keep you up to date, will always keep you in tune with current events in the crypto market. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump in. And this video today is going to be a little more off the cuff because I just found out about this. This just happened, but let's start with reading exactly what this notice says. And I guess BACT was postponed following a consultation with the CFTC, the Commodities Futures and Trading Commission. And after this consultation uh, with this, this, this regulator that regulates futures, BACT's pushed. And BACT, as you may or may not remember, was always dependent on CFTC approval. And apparently, uh, the Commodities Futures and Trading Commission needs extra time, needs more time to process. The launch had previously been set for January 24th. This was the second delay uh, before it was delayed in, it was supposed to launch, I think, in November, then it was delayed to December, and then it was most recently delayed till January 24th. And now it's pushed again. This time there's no set date on if slash when it'll ever um, uh, be launched. And that's really all this says right here. It, gives, it just gives the same stats it always does. Doesn't really give us more information than that. So before we discuss why this happened, why are the reasons that get back got pushed, let's check out how this has affected the market. As you can see, uh, for the last three, four days now, the market's been, been, been uh, going down ever since. So this might be a little clue that some people knew about this delay beforehand. But either way, let's check out what this has done for the market today. This is the day chart for Bitcoin and the official announcement happened, I believe, I think it was like seven hours ago. So if we go back somewhere, somewhere right around here, the official announcement took place. As you can see, there was a little bit of sell off before. As soon as the announcement happened, there was there was some significant sell off, something that I'm actually sort of happy to see the, the market didn't really react that much. As you know, the lowest we've been all year is 3,100. We really only went down, look at this, 3%, maybe 8% total if you count what's happened in the last few days. So not that bad. And I mean, es essentially, uh, people were uh, speculating that this could happen. This, uh, this article came out last week in Coindesk saying that um, that back to make it postponed again. The only negative in my mind is um, they don't give enough, they don't give a date on when this will happen. If you read this article, insiders in the backed slash I believe it's ICE organization, they say that it just depends on the CFTC. So if the CFTC approves backed soon, you know, it might only be pushed from the 24th to the 30th. They say, what do they say? It could only be a matter of days and a January 30th launch is possible. They say it could, or if the CFTC takes their good sweet time, it could be many more months. Let me know what you think about uh, this in the comments, but let's discuss why. What will it take for the CFTC to approve this? And why'd they postpone it? Well, essentially uh, from what they cared about, utility of the market and manipulation. And really the market's just as volatile and really just as manipulated, in my opinion, as what it was in December. So to me, this isn't quite surprising. We all kind of suspected this. Um, but in terms of why this happened, well, there's, there's some rumors out there. Some people say that other possible factors contributing to the delay, the United States government is going through what's known as a government shutdown. This seems to be a yearly thing. Uh, from the past few years, I live in LA, uh, due to the 2019 budget impasse. So the CFTC, they're uh, a government agency, so they're uh, by definition also affected. That's a reason some people are saying, in my opinion, I think 
Uh, this is just a bit more manipulation by them. The CFTC ice backed the regulators to drive down the price. In my opinion, that's their goal. Again, let me know what you think, but I think something to note, something that's interesting is why aren't more people covering this news that back got delayed? And I think a big reason is because a little damage control, all the articles that actually came out, I think half a day or at least a couple hours before uh, the delay of backed is this. ICE has raised over $180 million for upcoming backed trading platform. This uh, news came out a couple hours before the other news. And essentially what this is saying, let's go back to here, uh, that they went through a, like a seed round of investors for funding for the project. And in this project, they got a ton of quality investors. Boston Consulting Group, CMT Digital, Eagle 7, Galaxy Digital. I only know a few of those, but I just know all these are juggernauts in the financial world. The list goes on, which tells me that this might have been a little bit of damage control. But when people ask me the question, do I think BACT will get uh, denied if the CFTC chooses to deny futures trading? And, you know, futures trading already exists. The significance of this is it's physically settled. So ICE is going to have to have a warehouse of Bitcoin. All um, contracts are going to have to be settled in actual Bitcoin, causing whales to actually have to own Bitcoin instead of just money. But if it gets delayed, I don't think I don't think it's going to get delayed indefinitely. I don't. I think it might take time. But just looking at the juggernauts that are investing behind them, I think that back definitely will happen. The question is when. And again, it's not financial advice. Just my opinion from watching the market. And I think I covered everything. Uh, yeah. I guess uh, the last two things I want to do is if you've gotten any value, if you enjoyed these uh, videos, make sure to give this video a like. Maybe just get some awareness out there. I want to say a big thank you to Ernest, one of our uh, subscribers on this channel. He let me know in the comments of this video that this has happened. So thank you, Ernest. And the last thing I want to say, oh yeah, uh, be prepared. We'll drop another video every single day, but make sure to follow us on Twitter because in between videos, as we get more information on, on what's happening with BACT, we will keep you informed on our Twitter. There is a link in the description below, but it's at altcoindailyio, link in the description. That's it for me today. I will see you tomorrow. Happy New Year.